Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on with a haul from my local scrapbook store. And um, first I just wanted to say um, Happy Mother's Day to all the mamas out there. I hope you're all um, going to make today your day and um, yeah, enjoy it and treat yourselves and just relax. I'm gonna be hanging out at home. Um, and yeah, I wanna do some crafting, so. That's gonna be my mama's day, and yeah, so let's um, get into what I grabbed at the scrapbook store. Um, I am really lucky to have been blessed to have a really great scrapbook store local that I can go and check out, um, you know, and just support some small businesses locally instead of having to shop online all the time. So, but I did pick up these uh, Dina Wakely sprays and let me know if you guys have used these. I have a green one too that I think I got from close to my heart, but I picked up this white one and I also picked up this apricot one because I really like that, um, the peach color. So I'm gonna try using those because it's, I guess it's basically like acrylic like watered down acrylic paint, right? So I don't know. Um, I'll have to test it out and see how that goes. I did pick up the um, the new Tim Holtz color uh, salvage patina. It's so pretty. And this is actually what I went to the scrapbook store for. I had put this on hold and I ended up purchasing some more stuff. But I got the Oxide spray, the paint. I actually, I just got the whole combo and I can't wait to use this. Um, yeah, I can't wait to use this color. It's so pretty. So I picked up that. And then I grabbed a couple of these little, um, what do you call them? The dimensional domes because I have one of the die sets that coordinate with this, so I wanted to use those for shakers. And I picked up this stamp, this was like 50 cents. So I thought that was cute. I picked up this die, it's a My Favorite Things, and it's like a fringe die, so I thought I wanted to try making some paper tassels out of that. And these were on um, sale. And then, I picked up this um, 3D Impresslet. So I'm gonna, uh, I wanna cut this out with foil paper because I wanna see what these look like, but yeah, I'm really excited to try these because these look so adorable. So this is called, uh, I think it's like Sunburst or something like that. Burst, yeah, it's called Burst. So these are the little mini ones. And then there is another Sizzix Impresslet that I'm looking for and it's, I think it's called Gerber or I can't, I, I can't remember it, but it's like um, a daisy, it's really pretty. I had seen it on Instagram. I can't remember the channel that um, that showed it. I did pick up these Prima molds. I got this one. This is by, this is the sugar cookie one. So that'll be fun to play with. And then I picked up the Magic Love one. So this will be really pretty. And I just wanted to, um, ask anybody that has this um, I'll pop I may use this for resin but I also wanted to use it for clay like air dry clay and I'm just wondering how the buttons when you put your clay in does it smush down the buttons or does it do the you know do the holes still hold up with clay so who, if you've used this with clay let me know how that works out because these are really like the buttonholes are really like bendy 
I mean, if, if you're, you were using this with resin, it would hold up fine, but if you're pushing clay in there, I'm just wondering if the clay will, you know, if the clay won't push them down or, I don't know. So just let me know, but this is really cute. I can't wait to, can't wait to use these. So very pretty. And then I did see this cute little stamp. I just thought this was so adorable. Um, these birds remind me of like the Maggie Holmes birds, so I kind of wanted to color them in like blues and yellows and some pinks. And then I love the little song or music notes in the background and it's called The Birds Return. So I thought that was a really cute stamp. And then these were on clearance too, so I picked up these. So these would look really cute on embellishments. And these are the winter ones. So, so yeah, so that is my um, haul from my local scrapbook store. Again, I hope everybody has a great Mother's Day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.